Hello, greetings in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I'm Pastor Richard Kato from Uganda. I bless the Lord once again for this opportunity that He has given me to be here, to be here, uh, sharing the Word of God with you. I welcome all of you that are new to this channel. Uh, the message is the Bride of Christ. Uh, my God bless you. Feel at home. And I believe that you'll be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. So we bless the name of the Lord for the work done by the IWM leadership team, led by Pastor David Hall, Pastor Richard Thornhill, Pastor Mark Close, and all the men and women of God, the admins, that are doing a great work in the kingdom of God. May God bless you exceedingly in Jesus' mighty name. So even today, I'm here to share the word of God with you. Uh, the word we're going to share today is coming from the book of John, John chapter 15. We are going to look at Christ as the source, the source of our Christianity, the source of our hope the source of our perfection. I believe that you'll be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. But before we go into the word of God, we're first going to take a word of prayer as we call unto the name of Jesus Christ and welcome the Holy Spirit to lead us and reveal the Father's heart to us. So wherever you are, I ask you to join me in agreement as we call unto the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we praise you, I glorify you, I bless you. For there is none like you. You are incomparable in all your ways. Your name is holy. Your name is glorious. Your name is mighty. We bless and honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Who can be compared to you? Even today we have come before you. We look to you as our source. We bless you, Father, for there is none like you. It is all about you. All that we have, all that we are, it is because of your mercy. It is because of your grace. We praise and adore your holy name. Even today, we humble ourselves before you. We ask you to come and lead us. We come before you, Father, King of glory that your Holy Spirit may reveal your heart to us, O Lord, my God. We pray that through your word, our lives will be perfected. Our minds will be renewed. We pray that our souls will be nourished. And we pray, Father, King of glory, that you will sustain us in all possible ways so that we can live a life that is pleasing to you. Reach out for those that are sick, O Lord my God, and heal them through your word. Comfort those that are afflicted, O Lord my God. Give hope to the hopeless, O Lord my God. I pray that your name will be glorified. We come against every destructive forces of darkness. We bind them in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We speak peace today, joy, perfection, in Christ Jesus. Father, we glorify you. For there is none like you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I welcome you from that session. So we're going straight into the Word of God. The Word that we're going to look at today is coming from the book of John. John chapter 15 from verses 1. The Bible says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. 
as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask whatever you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. Praise the name of the Lord. So we see here uh, Jesus Christ revealing to us a profound uh, mystery that we all need to understand if we are to live effectively as Christians or if we are to live effectively as sons and daughters of God. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible presents Christ as the vine and it presents us as the branches. Praise the name of the Lord. So Christ is our source. We all know that no branch can survive on its own. In order for the branch to flourish, it has to be attached to the vine. It has to be connected to the vine because it, the vine is the one that supplies the required water, is the one that supplies the required food, is the one that supplies uh, the required air, is the one that supplies the required minerals and nutrients for the branch to survive. Praise the name of the Lord. So Christ is the vine and we are the branches. What does this one mean to us? It means that we have to look to Christ as our source, praise the name of the Lord. We have to depend on him in everything that we do as Christians. Because without him, we can do nothing. Without him, we can never profit, praise the name of the Lord. Without him, we cannot go anywhere. So if we are to live an effective Christian life, we have to completely depend on Jesus Christ. We have to look to him as our source, praise the name of the Lord, knowing that uh, without him, we can do nothing, praise the name of the Lord. Christ is our source. If we understand this principle, if we understand this mystery, we shall never struggle in Christianity. We shall never struggle as the bride of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. So as the bride of Christ, it is God's will that we fully depend on Christ, that we fully depend on on this vein, praise the name of the Lord, so that we can be perfected, so that we can become one with him and live effectively as far as God's will is concerned. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 4 says, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. So without Christ, we cannot bear the fruit. Praise the name of the Lord. Many people are out there struggling. 
many Christians are struggling, trying to make it on their own, trying to please God on their own, trying to do it in their own strength, which has brought a life of frustration, which has brought defeat in Christian's life, praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because we cannot live the Christian life on our own. We have to be dependent on Christ. We have to be connected on the vein. Christ is our source. He's the one that should supply us with strength. He's the one that should supply us with the spirit. He's the one that should supply us with wisdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Without him, we cannot make it. If we want to live effectively, we have to be dependent on Christ. Without him, we cannot bear fruit. Without him, we cannot overcome sin. Without him, we cannot overcome the world. Praise the name of the Lord. So we have to be dependent on him. We have to fully depend on him, knowing that he has won victory for us. Knowing that Christ did, did not only die to take away our sins, but he was raised to live his resurrection life in us. Praise the name of the Lord. So Christ wants to work through us. Our body is a temple of divine activities. Praise the name of the Lord. Christ wants to work through us. Christ wants to help us. Praise the name of the Lord. But we need to first be connected to him by faith. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to be connected to him by faith, through faith, praise the name of the Lord, so that we can do great exploits as far as the kingdom is concerned, and so that we can live a life that is pleasing to our master, praise the name of the Lord. So my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, if we are to bear for it, as far as a Christian life is concerned, we have to be connected to this vein. We have to be connected to the source. Christ is our source, praise the name of the Lord. He's the one that supplies us with power to overcome sin. He's the one that supplies us with the power to live an effective Christian life, praise the name of the Lord. So without him, we can do nothing. Without him, we cannot survive. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you want to be fruitful, as far as the Christian life is concerned, then remain in Christ. Abide in him. Depend on him. Praise the name of the Lord. We know that as long as we are in Christ, we can do all things, praise the name of the Lord, because he gives us the strength, he gives us the power, he gives us the zeal, he gives us the motivation, praise the name of the Lord, he gives us the inspiration, praise the name of the Lord, he gives us everything that is required to live a Christian life, praise the name of the Lord. The times that we are in, many people are tired. Many people are frustrated. Praise the name of the Lord. Many people are offended. Many, the Christian life has become like an uphill, an uphill struggle. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because we are trying to do it on our own. We are trying to live the Christian life by our own, which is impossible. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why you and I today ought to come back, ought to surrender all to Jesus Christ and see him as our source. We ought to depend on him, praise the name of the Lord. 
God has called us to depend on him. Without depending on Christ, we cannot make it. Verse 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. And verse 6 says, If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into fire, and they are burned. Praise the name of the Lord. We can do all things through Christ. Through Christ, we can be fruitful. Through Christ, we can be living epistles. Through Christ, we can impact our generation. Through Christ, we can live effectively. Through Christ, we can do all things because there is, because we know that with God there is nothing that is impossible. So when we are connected to the source, there is nothing that can stop us. When we are connected to the source, there is nothing that we cannot do. Praise the name of the Lord. When we are connected to the source, we can never run out of power. We can never dry up. Praise the name of the Lord. A lot of ministers are dry, mechanical. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because they are trying to do it on their own. They are trying to please God on their own. They are operating in the flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. They are having confidence in their own efforts, in their own strength. They are trusting their own abilities. They are trusting their own strength. Praise the name of the Lord. And this has led to frustration. This has led to disappointments. This has led to failure. Praise the name of the Lord. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we cannot live without Christ. We cannot live without God. Praise the name of the Lord. We have to be dependent on God. We have to be dependent on Christ. The Bible gives us one example of the boy that wanted to live an independent life. We all know the story of the prodigal son. He wanted to live an independent life. Praise the name of the Lord. He wanted to be separated from the father. He wanted to be separated from the source. He wanted to enjoy life with his friend. He wanted to have his own things. Praise the name of the Lord. And we all know how his story ended. He ended up eating with swines. He ended up in misery. He ended up in frustration. He ended up in tears. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's what happens if we try to live the Christian life on our own. That's what happens if we want to live an independent Christian life. Praise the name of the Lord. A Christian life is meant to be dependent on Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. We have to fully trust God. We have to fully put our confidence, our trust in the Lord because he alone has the power to sustain us. He alone has the power to uphold us. He alone has the power to strengthen us. He alone has the power to lead us. Praise the name of the Lord. So my dear friend, where is your source of inspiration? Where do you draw your strength from? Where do you draw your power from? Who is your source? Praise the name of the Lord. That matters as far as the Christian life is concerned. But today, I tell you that if you want to live effectively, if you want to see the greatness of God, if you want to see 
the power of God at work in your life. If you want to live victoriously, depend on God. Praise the name of the Lord. And you will see his golden goodness. Praise the name of the Lord. Another, another scripture that uh, we want to look at is in Jeremiah. We are going to read Jeremiah chapter 17. And we are starting from verse 7. Praise the name of the Lord. Jeremiah, verse 17, uh, starting from verse 7. The Bible says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord. Verse 8 says, For it shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its root by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but her leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought. No, will, no will cease from yielding fruit. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed is the one that trusts in the Lord. Blessed is the bride that trusts in the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed is he that looks at Christ as his source. His source of power. His source of supply, his source of inspiration, his source of motivation. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed is he. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that he's like a tree planted by the waters. He continued to flourish in every season. He continues. To see the glory of God irrespective of the, uh, the externalities, irrespective of the external factors. Praise the name of the Lord. Whoever is connected to Christ enjoys a victorious life, is never affected by the external forces because his supply is divine. Praise the name of the Lord. We are speaking of this water, this river that's, that flows from the throne of God. Praise the name of the Lord. The sun may come, drought may come, but he, this river can never dry. Praise the name of the Lord. It continues to supply water. It continues to supply life. It continues to supply power. It continues to supply goodness. It continues to supply revelation. It continues to supply revelation. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why it is imperative to depend on God. That's why it is imperative to depend on Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. So my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, the bride of Christ, it is high time we depended on Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Christ is willing to help us. Christ is willing to sustain us. So may we depend on him so that we can profit continually in the Christian life. God wants us to be fruitful. God wants us to live effectively. God wants us to be living epistles. But we cannot do this one on our own. We have to be dependent on Christ so that we can see the glory of God and experience the amazing power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So you need to depend on Christ as the bride of Christ so that uh, Christ can be formed in us for the glory of his name. Uh, we have to depend on him so that as he comes, he may find us resembling him. He may find us pure and holy, perfected in his image, perfected 
in his likeness. Praise the name of the Lord. So this is our time. You've been depending on your flesh, been depending on other people. It's high time we got connected to Christ, the source, so that we can live victoriously. God loves you and is willing to help you, is willing to uphold you, is willing to sustain you in whatever you do. Just depend on him and you'll see his golden goodness. My God bless you as we take a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we praise you. We glorify you and adore you. We exalt you for there is none like you. We exalt you, King of Kings. We exalt you, Lord of Lords. We thank you for your word, O God. We pray that you'll give us the grace to depend on you. You'll give us the grace to do everything according to your plan. Precious Holy Spirit, lead us. Precious Holy Spirit, perfect us. Precious Holy Spirit, guide us. Precious Holy Spirit, we need you. We need your power. We need your grace. We need your mighty hand, O Lord our God. Lead us to a life of perfection. Lead us to a life of purity. Help us be fruitful as we uh, realize that you are the only source. May we get connected to you, Lord my God, that we may live effectively, O Lord my God. Help us, O Lord my God, to lose our confidence in the flesh. Help us, O Lord my God, to lose our confidence in our own abilities and efforts, O Lord my God. May we look to you as the source in the name of Jesus Christ. May the river of living water flow through us, O Lord my God, that we might be your disciples, that we might be the bride, Father, King of glory, that you have called us to be, O Lord my God. May we be perfected in your love. May we be perfected in purity and holiness. And we pray that the image of Christ will be formed in us, O Lord my God. May we be perfected in his likeness, especially in the times that we are in, O Lord my God. Help us, O Lord my God, to fully depend on you by exposing everything, even including our weaknesses, O Lord my God, that we may live, uh, we may live in a life of purity. We may be one with your spirit, fully perfected in your love. We pray, King of glory, that you heal our hearts, O Lord, my God. We pray, Father, King of glory, that today you will change our mindsets, you will change our thinking, that we might do everything according to your plan. We praise you, Lord. We glorify you. We adore you. We bless you, King of glory. We bless you, King of the universe, for you are good and your mercy is forever. Precious Holy Spirit, we love you. Precious Holy Spirit, we adore you. Precious Holy Spirit, we bless you. We honor and glorify you now and forevermore in Jesus' mighty name, the Son of the living God. May God bless you and continue sustaining you as we live effectively, depending on Christ Jesus as our source. Praise the name of the Lord. So for those of you that are new to, to this channel, for those of you that are new, those that have not yet subscribed to this channel, we welcome you to subscribe to our YouTube channels. You can subscribe by clicking on the link just below any of our videos. You'll be able to join us and be part of us. Be part of this wonderful family, this wonderful platform. Uh, God will surely uh, sustain you and bless you in Jesus' mighty name. IWM or Emmanuel Wells Ministries has three YouTube channels. One of them is Messages the Bride of Christ, IWM Online Church in Africa United in Christ. I ask you to subscribe. Your life will not remain the same. God bless you and sustain you as we journey uh, in this life. We love you and we pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom, shalom, shalom.